Hello, it's Frank Whitmer, Brody Precision, uh, here at the video today on the uh, Honeywell Optimizer Supervisor 4.13 and the changes to the IRM tool uh, that's used with the Spider 5 and 7 VAVs and the Optimizer uh, Unitary Controller. If we just switch over to the 4.12, so I'm going to compare it to the 4.12.2 uh, Optimizer software. Um, and when you go to your BACnet network, uh, when you're programming the, the, uh, the Spider 5.7 VAVs and the uh, unitary controller, um, you work from the view that is your IRM BACnet device view, uh, device manager view. Uh, if you double click on BACnet network, it only brings you to uh, the HON BACnet device manager, and you would normally go in and select the IRM tool. And once you go there, you will notice you have your, it's 33 different buttons that you would use with the controllers for, for uh, working with them. Uh, so quite a few to, uh, um, to work through. But in any case, um, this is uh, the previous versions before 4.13 came out. And what I want to show you is uh, that if we go to our 4.13 view, uh, 4.13.2, uh, when you click on the BACnet network, the default view changes from that HON view. Now there's a new Honeywell BACnet device manager view. Um, if we look at the different views that are available, uh, you're going to notice there's uh, quite a few different uh, device manager views. Um, but what, they, what they've done is Honeywell has changed from the IRM BACnet device manager view to the Honeywell to BACnet device manager. The one good thing though is when you double click on your network, that is the view that comes up. Um, and I've had uh, already had at least one call on this in that they uh, thought that the IRM device manager view was missing uh, in 4.13, but in actuality, it was just renamed. And they also changed uh, the way the buttons are used uh, on this view. Um, as I mentioned, when you were in 4.12, You've got 33 different buttons that you got to weed through to find the command that you're looking for. In the 4.13 um, Honeywell Backnet Device Manager view, uh, they've added two pull-down boxes. Uh, there is a um, command pull-down box that you can select. Oh, you got to pick a controller, and then you can select and be able to do any of the commands that are available for that, that type of controller, and then you would hit Execute once you chose the one that you wanted um, and then, so if you wanted to, you could come in here and say, okay, I want to go in and um, clear the controller. So we can go in there, say clear controller, hit execute, and then it'll go. Um, the other thing they've added is this preferred actions pull-down box. And what this allows you to do is add up to five buttons to be your, I guess you could say, favorites. Uh, for the buttons that you're going to use for um, for this device manager view. So we could go in there and say, okay, what are our most commonly used commands that we're going to do on these controllers? So we could choose uh, full teach. We can we can pick um, teach to controller. It might have a, you know, download is something you're going to be, or if download firmware is probably something you're going to use fairly regularly. Um, swap in. And then we could pick, I think it's four, that's uh, four. We could pick another one. Let's say we want um, uh, swap out. And then you'll see you can't pick any others. Uh, so you can get up to five. So when I get out of there and I click back on the screen, you'll see those five favorites buttons show up on this second line here. Um, so from there, you have the buttons that you would use regularly to easily to access. But if you needed to do the others, you could go back in here and choose what you want. Or you could go back to preferred and say, you know what, I don't do, I don't do um, the swap out. I, you know, I, I do that from the tree or whatever. You, or you know, you could take that out of there and maybe the swap in you want to take out of there, and you want to add um, update all backnet devices, um, and go with that. And you'll see the update, and you have them there easily, read, easily available to uh, to command on your um, on your controllers. Um, so that's the, really the, the main difference is, is no more IRM device manager. And actually, I should point out as well, there used to be a TC thermostat manager as well. That was for the TC 300 and 500 thermostats. Um, so they've incorporated that underneath this, this Honeywell backnet device manager as well. So if you're looking for TC, 
or you're looking for IRM, it's going to be the uh, Honeywell Backnet Device Manager. Um, I hope that was helpful. Um, and as you come up with other questions and comments, please let us know. We're always looking for uh, new ideas for tips and tricks like a video like this. Um, so if you have any ideas uh, or you think of any ideas, then uh, please let us know. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Thank you.